Hey DIYers, today I will be demonstrating the application process for our Venetian Gold Quartz countertop paint kit. We're excited to be out of the studio to apply this kit in this beautiful kitchen, which happens to be the owners of our company. If you're ready to transform the entire look of your kitchen, grab a kit and let's get started. Everything you need to transform your old countertops into the look of gold quartz is included in the kit. You will also want to have these additional household items within reach. You can expect this project to take you a full weekend, and if you have any questions throughout the process, we're here to help. You can reach us by phone, chat, or email. Before you start your project, watch this entire video and read the included instructions and quick start guide, as they are meant to complement each other. It is also important that you measure your countertops beforehand to make sure you have the correct amount of product for your space. Refer to the included quick start guide for more information. This step is critical for making sure the epoxy top coat cures correctly. For a typical formica or laminate countertop, begin your prep by thoroughly cleaning your countertops with an SOS or Brillo pad to remove any dirt and grease from the surface. No sanding is required. Then, rinse and remove the cleaner with water because any remaining residue could keep the paint from adhering. Use a high quality painter's tape like frog tape to protect surfaces around your workspace from accidental contact with the paint materials. Tape two rows on the walls above your backsplash and one strip around the rim of your sink and cooktop if you have one. Use the included tarps to protect your cabinets, appliances, and floor. Use small pieces of the tape to hold the tarp in place and run long pieces of tape along the underside of the countertops. This will help remove any drips before they harden. Then trim pieces from the provided tarp to use as covers for the sink, faucet, and any appliances above your countertops. Now you're ready to apply the white primer. You'll need two coats to cover most surfaces, but with darker colored surfaces, you may need a third. If you have a connected backsplash, start here. First, edge in the top and bottom with a two inch foam brush. Continue around the corners and edges and use the fabric roller to fill in the rest. For the best coverage, edge in two to three foot sections at a time, and then immediately roll that section so your brush strokes blend with the rolled areas. Once you've filled in each section, back roll the area to get rid of any lap lines. Allow the first coat to dry for at least an hour. It may appear streaky or uneven, but you will obtain full coverage after the second coat. Repeat the same process in dry time for your second coat of white primer. While the primer is drying, it is the perfect time to research examples of gold quartz. This will give you an idea of how the veins look and give you inspiration for the finish you want to create. After you've done some research, spend some time mapping out the direction you want your veins to flow. It helps to draw the basic layout of your countertops and create a guideline for your veins. Now that you've completed your prep work and the primer is dry, use the kit's included practice board to try out the veining process before moving to your countertops. To begin the veining process, first spray the area where you intend to create your vein with the kit's misting bottle. Then use the artist brush to lightly drag the veining mineral across the surface of your countertop. Smoky quartz and graphite can be used interchangeably to create the main outlines of your veins. 
we chose to use smoky quartz to match the warm tones of the space. Next, spray your vein with water. You'll know you used enough water when the mineral paint starts to bleed. Lightly dab your vein using the 2 inch brush. You'll notice that the edges of your vein will start to fade into the white background, creating the characteristics of quartz. Once you're satisfied with the shape of the vein, lightly dab it with a paper towel to add more depth and create a textured stone look. When creating your veins, there are four different styles to choose from. The first is an extended vein. These veins are best used on sections of countertops that require long, continuous veins, like on an island. The second vein style is a Y vein. To accomplish this, create a new vein that branches off your existing vein to create the look of a Y. The third vein style is a crescent vein. These create a loop in the middle of your major vein. The final style is a ripple vein. These encompass two veins that run parallel to each other. For Y veins and crescent veins, you can use the included pipette to fill in the area between lines to mimic the large mineral flows displayed in real quartz countertops. To use the pipette, spray the area with the misting bottle, apply a generous amount of mineral paint to the area, and use the two inch brush to distribute evenly. Then dab the area with the paper towel to add dimension and create that textured stone look we mentioned before. Once you're satisfied with the structure of your vein, you can use the other mineral colors to add detail. We recommend adding additional detail to all of your veins. Since we started with smoky quartz, we will detail with Venetian gold and graphite. Remember to spray the area first, then trace the veins with thin strokes. Use the two inch brush to feather the mineral into the existing vein. The final look should be a defined line that gives the vein its shape. Since we initially created our veins with smoky quartz, we chose to detail one side with Venetian gold and the other with graphite. We recommend using all three mineral colors to increase your capability of creating natural depth and dimension. For the edges, connect your veins to the ones you created on your countertops and follow the direction of the flow just like a slab of real quartz. Be careful not to overspray with water and watch for runs and drips.
Before you apply the epoxy, be sure to block off the room from any pets and small children. Now you're ready to apply the top coat. Gianni Quartz comes with three sets of epoxy and each set is made up of two parts, a liquid activator and a liquid resin. Each set covers a six foot section of countertop. To mix your first set, pour an entire can of activator into a can of resin, making sure to empty all of the contents. Next, thoroughly stir the mixture for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. You want to mix quickly, but keep from splashing any of the contents out of the container. When you finish stirring, immediately pour the entire mixture onto the first section of your countertops. It helps to pour the mixture in three streams to ensure even coverage. Start by pouring one stream at the base of your backsplash, one in the center of your countertops, and one close to the edge. If you have an object within your six foot section, such as a sink, simply use the proportionate amount for one side and continue on the opposite side of the sink until the entire mixture has been used. Within the same section, use an included two inch angle brush and transfer some of the epoxy mixture to your attached backsplash, gently coating it as you brush along your six foot section. Continue cutting in the edges of your section with some of the remaining mixture on your countertops. Next, use the foam roller to evenly distribute the epoxy over the surface in your section. Since the epoxy is self-leveling, try not to overwork your application. It helps to hold the handle gently between your fingers and thumb and lightly push the epoxy over the countertops. This will keep you from gripping the handle too tight and applying too much pressure. Too much pressure can spread the epoxy mixture too thin and cause defects in the cured finish. To make sure they're fully coated, lightly roll the front edges of your counters. After you've covered your first section, mix a second set of epoxy and continue on to your next section blending the two together to avoid creating a seam. Continue the same process until your entire countertop is coated. If your remaining section of countertop is less than 6 feet, use the appropriate amount of epoxy to cover the area. For instance, if your final section is 3 feet, mix the last full set of epoxy and only use half. Once you've rolled on your top coat, do not add more unless you find bare spots. Doing so can create unwanted blemishes in your finish. Once you've finished applying your epoxy, grab a bright light and closely inspect your countertops for bare spots, bubbles, and lint. For air bubbles or lint, use tweezers to gently pop the bubbles or pull out the piece of lint. To fix a small bare spot, use a two inch brush to drizzle a little epoxy onto the spot and dab lightly. Slowly and carefully remove the painter's tape between one and two hours after applying the epoxy. If you peel it off too early, the finish will run under the taped areas. If you peel it off too late, the tape will become cemented to your countertops.
If you have a connected backsplash that is taller than 3 inches, you can use the same veining technique as you would on a flat surface. But because our epoxy top coat was formulated with self-leveling properties, you must use our 100% acrylic top coat to achieve even coverage. After those first two days, refrain from setting anything heavy on your countertops. Heavy objects can leave impressions in the epoxy. When caring for your new countertops, we recommend using our specially formulated Gianni countertop cleaner. You can also read our written instructions to see other cleaners that may be used, as harsh chemicals can dull or damage the finish. Just like you would with any countertop, always use a cutting board when preparing food and a hot pad or protective barrier when placing hot objects on your countertops. Treating your countertops with the proper care will help maintain the shine, durability, and beauty. We hope you love your new quartz countertops for years to come. Don't forget to follow us on social media and check out our website for additional resources. Thanks for watching!